So what is a bill of quantities? It's a tender document normally produced by a quantity surveyor which contains general information on a construction project together with quantities measured from drawings in accordance with a measurement code. In Ireland, general measurement code would be the ARM, the Agreed Rules of Measurement. If we look here on the right hand side, we'll see an example of a bill of quantities. This one relates to a civil project. We'll see that there's drainage below ground. We see excavation of trenches. We will see the descriptions here for pipes not exceeding 200 millimeters nominal size with the average depths stated in the classifications as per the method of measurement that's being used. We also see the quantities and we see the units of measurement. And then there's an area for pricing. But what does a bill of quantities do for us? It's a tender document for pricing. When prepared by the professional quantity surveyor, the estimator will price it on behalf of the contractor. These agreed rates become contractual rates and they assist in valuing variations, preparing estimates for additional works, preparing interim valuations so that, or stage payment valuations so that the contractor can be paid, for preparing the final account when the works are complete. A bill of quantities can be presented in numerous different manners. One would be on a trade basis where each of the trades are taken out and measured as individual items. Second would be on an elemental basis, which is a standardization of a cost control procedure. And thirdly, then we have the operational activity basis. The general structure of a bill of quantities is as follows. We have the preliminary items at the very front of the BOQ, or the bill of quantities. Preliminaries relates to contract conditions, health, safety, welfare, insurances, supervision, and all other items which have a cost in the construction works but cannot be actually built into the project, i.e. we need skips for the removal of rubbish. So there's a provision for the pricing of waste disposal within the preliminary section. We also need to ensure that we have the correct insurances in place. This will be priced in the preliminaries aspect. Then we have the preambles or specification. Preambles would be an optional aspect as nowadays this has been replaced by specification documents. So there will be the mechanical and electrical specifications, the structural specifications, um, there could be specifications for furniture, the architectural specifications, specifications for any aspect of the works. Then comes the main body of the measured works. This would be as measured using a standard method of measurement such as the ARM. Next, we would have a listing of all the provisional sums. Provisional sums accounts for items which may not be measured fully at the time in which the documentation is put together. And these provisional sums would be cited as provisional items. Next, we have prime cost sum, which is a sum of money provided for the employment of contractors nominated, contractors or suppliers nominated by the client. Then we have contingencies. Contingencies is a sum of money set aside for additional works which are envisaged but which have not yet been agreed on. Following on from that, we would have a schedule of day works. This allows the client to see the rates that will be charged for items outside of the contract works. So that would allow us to price for labor items, plant items, um, and any other aspects of day works. And then at the end of that, we would have a general summary which outlines the overall cost centers of the project. Here we see an example of a bill of quantities. Note, we would have the title of the project at the top left hand corner of the page. We would also, on the right hand side, we would show the element or area in which the works are taking place. So the bill of quantities can actually show us the location of particular aspects. Here we have the heading from the top of the standard method of measurement, and then we have the subheading. Obviously here we have a reference, so it will be page one, item A. The description of the works, the quantity, the unit of measurement, the rate, multiplied then by the quantity, giving us the overall value 